Apple Notes was released in 2007 together with the first iPhone. And look at how old it looks. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm disrespectful, I should say. Maybe look at how vintage it looks. But back then, Apple was using this design technique called skeuomorphism, which is a way of saying that they were trying to replicate the uh, physical characteristics of paper or a notepad. So if you look at the icon, for example, you can clearly recognize it represents a legal pad, a yellow legal pad. It's lined, it's got the two vertical lines on the left. It's got that leathery thing at the top. And if you look at the icon more uh, closely, you can even see that there is an indication of torn paper at the top, as if someone had uh, tore some pages apart. Even the internal pages, when you were taking notes for years, you had this um, paper texture applied to the page. And when you were typing text, the text was given some internal shadows and highlights that made it look like it was embossed, really pressed on the page. Luckily, um, over the course of the years, they abandoned that design technique, which I really didn't like. And now the app is much more modern and fresh. But more importantly, over the years, Apple released lots of new, interesting, useful features, some of which were really transformational. Some of them were game changers. For example, for me, one of my favorites uh, probably my favorite is the ability to add internal links, which doesn't sound like much probably, but actually that allowed Apple Notes to transform from a simple repository of notes into an interconnected web of information, similar to a Zettelkasten or a wiki, which really enables you not just to fish out pieces of information, but to do something with it, to be more creative with whatever you put into Apple Notes. However, I realized that not many people know all of these features. And there is a good reason for that. And that is the fact that Apple Notes doesn't come with a manual. <laughs> you have to discover these things yourself. And either you are very interested in this thing, you browse the internet looking for information, you read forums, you ask questions, maybe you try things with the app, or what do you do? Well, you subscribe to this channel so that yours truly can give you this information. So I was thinking of creating a series of videos that will cover um, specific features in Apple Notes to make sure that you are at least aware of these features. I'm gonna try and give you information on how you can level up, maybe move to an intermediate or an advanced uh, level. You don't have to use all the features, of course. I don't use all the features uh, because some of them just don't fit my workflow. But the first thing to do is to be aware of them. There are types of interactions in Apple Notes that are not immediately visible. Um, menus and options and ways to interact with the content that unless someone tells you about them, you wouldn't know. For example, this ability to swipe with two fingers to select things. So let me show you. Hopefully you will be able to see it. If I'm here and I've got this long list of notes, I can select all of them by tapping with two fingers on one note and then dragging down. I hope you can see that they are now all selected. So there is no way to discover this feature unless someone tells you. And then you can tap and hold and then move these things as one, one group. You could navigate to a different place, to a different folder, to a different location by swiping. I'm gonna try and do, with, do that with my thumb. If I swipe up, as you can see, I can choose another app where I, want to, where I may want to drop these notes. I can move them to different folders. There are lots of things that I can do with this gesture, which is absolutely not an intuitive gesture. So the idea is this, I'm gonna uh, try and create maybe 20, 30 videos, each one covering a specific feature in Apple Notes. So if you are interested in this type of content, if you think this is a good idea, please like this video so I know that there is interest and I will continue producing content. The other thing to do, if you haven't done so already, subscribe, hit the bell, so they are notified when a new um, one of these videos will be available. I think I'm pro probably gonna try and release one every two or three days, but let's see what I can do. Now, for the remainder of this particular video, which is just an introduction to Apple Notes, let me tell you why I think Apple Notes is an amazing app. And also let me tell you about some of the secret ways of interacting with it that you maybe um, don't know, or maybe you don't know all of them. So in terms of why I think this is an amazing app, first of all, it can manage, it can handle pretty much any type of content that you throw at it. Text, videos, audio files, um, PDFs, 
handwritten notes, you can scan documents, you can even drag content from other apps. For example, did you know you can drag emails into Apple Notes? Apple Notes comes free, it's pre-installed, it syncs very quickly across um, uh, iCloud. So if you bought into Apple's ecosystem, this is an amazing opportunity to have your content available everywhere around uh, your uh, Mac, iPad, iPhone, and so on. It's a very robust application. It can store thousands of notes without any problem. And unless you run out of memory on your device, there is no risk that uh, the app will crash on you. It has some uh, really cool features, such as the ability to recognize handwritten text and read text inside of your scans. And this is really useful, not only because you can copy and paste that text, even the handwritten one as text, but also because the very powerful search feature that is available in Apple Notes can be used to find and locate handwritten text, which is really cool. And last but not least, because Apple Notes is made by Apple and they do, they produce the software and the hardware, they are able to leverage features that are not available to other apps. For example, just two examples. This is a great one. If you have a pencil and an, uh, an iPad, did you know that you can tap to wake? If you press the screen with your pencil, it will wake up and there will be a note immediately ready for you to start writing on. The other thing is quick notes. Um, even when Apple Notes is closed, you can invoke very quickly this little note, which is quick note. And, and this is extremely useful, for example, on the Mac. There is a, a key combination, a shortcut that you can use, which is Globe Q, and that will bring up a new note for you immediately that you can um, write on, even if the app is closed. And again, going back, these quick notes are available on the iPhone and on the iPad. And on the iPad is actually, this is another gesture that not many people know about, but there are ways to use your Apple Pencil to invoke a quick note. You take your pencil, you drag in from your uh, right bottom corner, and as you can see, a note appears, and you can start or continue writing on this note. By the way, these quick notes are synced with um, some other apps, for example, books. If you are reading a book and you start a quick note to make some, to take some comments, take some notes, that quick note will stay attached to the book. And every time you open the book, you will find that note ready for you to continue writing on. So over the years, Apple Notes has become, uh, has moved from a simple repository of information to a powerful app that you can use to do much more. On this channel, for example, we've already explored how to create a Zettel custom in Apple Notes, how to uh, write a book using some automation, how to track your expenses and calculate the totals, how to run a digital bullet journal, how to um, manage your contacts and grow your friends, and so on. So there are lots of possibilities. So hopefully you will discover new tricks by following this um, little video series. For now, this is everything. Hopefully I'll see you in part two of the series. Thank you very much for watching and see you soon.